the Poe Show broadcasting live from Zena TV in Los Angeles. This is where we elevate the creative cult. This is where creatives can be seen. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for always watching us. I'm Poe. Okay, so on, so on Friday, uh, February 3rd, Jack Russell's Great White. That's this Friday. Album release at the Whiskey A Go Go 8901 West Sunset Boulevard in West Hollywood. Said to be as strong an album as he's ever released as Great White or Solo. For me. Russell says. This is so much more than a collection of songs. It's the culmination of a lifetime of living. It's about addictions, love, pain, and many facets of the human condition. It has the elements of the best of great white, but there's diversity, vibe, and an edge to it. It draws from our 60s and 70s roots in a more modern way. Guitarist and keyboardist Tony Montana agrees it's got the classic sound, the first element, of course, Jack's voice. The band Great White broke out of the Los Angeles scene, going platinum and selling over 10 million copies worldwide. Check out Jack Russell's Great White at the Whiskey on Friday. I'll see you there, but definitely pick up the new album. It's called He Saw It Coming, because he saw it coming. Watch last week's show, and you'll, you'll get the backstory on why, how he saw it coming at six years old. Okay, Saturday, February 4th, from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., Freak Show Double Feature at the CIA, California Institute of Abnormal Arts, the club with the oddest, strangest, and best decor in the world, including three mummies. 11334 Burbank Boulevard, North Hollywood. Performing to sell out crowds, Freak Show is L.A.'s dark, comedic variety show featuring performance artists, sideshow acts, character-driven comedy, musical comedy, stand-up, and it closes with a band. You got to see this show. It's so great. Hosted by Ring Mistress Tuesday Thomas of E! Comedy Central VH1 and BBC World of Weird. Two shows to choose from. The early show, doors open at 7, show at 8. Late show, doors open at 11, show at 11.30. Raffle and prizes, $10 per show at the door. They do sell out. They do sell out. So get your tickets. They're only at the door. And get there early and RSVP with Tuesday at Tuesday's Trash at iCloud.com. I'm telling you, it's a great show. It's one of the greatest shows in North Hollywood or in Hollywood or in L.A. for that matter. It's fantastic. Saturday, February 11th, from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m., the 2017 Edwardian Ball in Los Angeles. Presented by co-host Rosin Coven and Vaudevere Society. That's where vaudeville came from, vaudevere. Um, at the Globe Theater, 740 South Broadway, the ball blends live music, theater, fashion, and cosplay, circus, fine art, riveting stage shows, black comedy, science fiction, literature, ballroom dancing, and DJs into a whirlwind and enticing, enticing extravaganza set in a romanticized, gilded, and genteel neo Victorian. <laughs> are, you, are you acting this out? <laughs> it would be Fine, weird. I, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you don't know what genteel means? Oh, I know what it means. <laughs> Neo-Victorian and Edwardian-era Gothic and steampunk-tinged distant past that Im imagines an elegant alternate reality future. Those are trippy words. All of that just boggles my mind. Not dystopian From ear future? to ear. Other delightful attractions include a free portrait booth, vending, mystical and nonsensical oddities, absinthe cocktails, blah, yeah. parlor games, alluring sideshows, and much more. Each year features an Edward Gorey tale in an original stage performance. Tickets available at Ticketfly.com. Check that out. That sounds super fun. On Saturday, February 18th, from 7 to 10 p.m., the opening reception of MJG, The Power of Pop, an exhibit exploring the power of pop culture throughout the generations at the Gregorio Escalante Gallery, 978 Chung King Road, Los Angeles. In 1963, the country's most celebrated artists came together in one exhibit to explore pop culture from the late 1950s and early 60s and its impact on painting, printmaking, and sculpture. Mel Ramos, Andy Warhol, and many others changed the way pop psyche infused itself into American culture. Yet the question remains, how has pop culture changed in over 50 years? 
This exhibit is the new creative collaboration of Bay Area artists Mel Ramos, John Wagesback, and Gabrielle Navarre, MJG, each with differing yet complementary styles. So check that stuff out if you wanna wanna. <laughs>